This video is brought to you by Mind Valley. You can change like that. Can you change in 21 days? You can change in 21 seconds if you know how. In fact, you can change twice every day, first in the way you think and the second in the way you act. Everything I talk about, the, the, the strength is in the simplicity and the honesty. There's no need to complicate stuff. People want something simple, but they also want it to be fast. We live in such a fast world, and if you can't give your message like really fast, people are just not interested, and I get that. My purpose, I would say, is to give people freedom and empowerment from their issues and their pain. That, that would be my purpose, and that would, would be what gives me meaning in life. And I think you know what your purpose is, because when you're doing it, it feels so right. When I'm on stage talking, it's not scary. I absolutely love it. In fact, it energizes me. When I'm working with clients in my office, I never find it draining. I find it invigorating. And I think that's the thing. When you do what you love, and you love what you do, first of all, you feel like you never work. But secondly, it inspires you. It motivates you. And if I do what I don't love, I, I feel the difference immediately. And so we all have a gift, and I think your challenge is find out what you love to do and become brilliant at it. And, and we've all got something unique that we can do. It's very hard to know at 20 what you're meant to do. So give yourself a break. Find out what you love. Find out what makes your heart sing. People who are good make it look so easy. and think, oh, I can do that. I can do that. And then because you make it look so easy, you often lose credibility. You think, well, you know, you can just turn up on stage and, and act, but they don't realize all the work that goes into it. And I think leaders make it look very easy, but it's also because they love it. I'm not enough. And if you start from I'm not enough, then you need more, more cake, more drinks, more drugs, more sex, more stuff, more shopping, more followers, because we've got so into I'm not enough and I need more. It's so great that we're getting small children to understand that your thoughts are yours to change. You're not your thoughts, change them. Changing your thoughts is easy, it's free, can be instant. Yeah, you know, when I was 20, I was very clear I was going to be a school teacher. My father wanted me to do that. He told me it was a wonderful job. He was a school teacher. I was going there. I was going to teach a training college and I was going to be a school teacher. And somewhere in that teacher training college, I thought, you know, I don't want to be a teacher. I'd actually like to be a child psychologist. So I began to switch my training. And then I realized again, actually, no, I don't want to do that either because when you work with children as a therapist, you always have three patients, mum, dad, and child. And so I was going there, but in fact, I went there and I went there. I, I became a therapist, I wrote books. I began to work on television shows and then I created my own method. And so actually I became a teacher after all, but it was a go over here and then go back. And I think at 20, you very rarely know what you want to do. And if you do, that's not always a good thing, because I work with many people in their 40s who say, you know, all my life I've been a lawyer, an accountant, and I've realized I didn't even want to do that. It doesn't make my heart sing. But it's very hard to know at 20 what you're meant to do. So give yourself a break. Find out what you love. Find out what makes your heart sing. In fact, one of the major causes of depression is failing to follow your heart's desire. And we're so into, well, this is a good career and this has good benefits and the salary is good. And we think, but I don't, I don't love it. I recently trained a police officer to be a therapist who said, I went into the police force to make a difference and discovered I was just locking up alcoholics and drug addicts every night. And it was very demoralizing. And now I'm a therapist and here I am making a difference. So be open. Don't put any pressure on yourself. Just find out what you love and when you do what you love you'll feel like you never really work a day in your life i mean i work very hard but i also feel like i never really work and that's a great thing when i was training in hypnotherapy i knew immediately oh this is me and this is me for the rest of my life i knew that that was my purpose that was my meaning that was my passion and and of course the second wonderful thing is that when you do what you love it gives you every bit as much as you give other people like i was speaking here this week and was saying oh my god it's so amazing what you gave me I said, but well, what you gave me was also amazing because you were receptive and you liked it 
And so it's a great thing about giving and receiving, giving energy and receiving it back. And I think a lot of conventional therapy is so busy trying to change the behavior or the actions or the feelings when the law, say, the law of control says it all starts with a thought. And so I really like to simplify what makes humans tick because What's the point of making it complicated? How does that help anyone who says, well, I'm messed up and so hard to change and people can't change? It's like, well, that's not correct. Who taught you that? You, from the minute you're born, you're changing. Oh, you know, it's, it's long and arduous to recover. No, it isn't. Some people recover like that. Some people don't, but you could be one of the ones that changes your thoughts, changes your feelings, changes your actions after all. Most of us have had an experience of eating something, being violent, you think, oh, I could never eat that again. I could never look at whiskey again. There's no way I could ever eat shellfish again. But it's very simple to think a different thought because we own our thoughts and we can change our thoughts. And if we just learn to question, why do I think that? Who told me that was true? Question a thought, upgrade your thought, update your thought. For women especially, all these thoughts, you know, you can never find love after 50. Nobody wants somebody with cellulite. If you're a successful woman, a man won't like you. Well, that's not true. That's not true for Michelle Obama. Why would that be true for you? There's lots of women getting married for the first time at 50, including me. Your, your lovability has got nothing to do with the numbers on the scales, or the numbers in your clothing label, or the numbers on your birth, or the number of your followers. So we get very consumed by the number, I need to be thinner, taller, smarter, better grades, more followers. And you've got to stop all of that and just believe that you're great, and you can be even greater when you stop defining who you are by what the numbers say. Most of us, we make a belief without realizing that that belief turns around and makes us. And then we have something called confirmation bias. We now look for proof that that belief is real. I'm painfully shy and I can't speak to people. I've made a belief, but that belief is making me now because I stress about speaking to people. I might blush. I avoid situations. And now I'm looking for proof, the confirmation bias. Look. Last time I spoke, I went bright red. I got all tongue-tied. That person, I could see they weren't interested. I felt like an idiot. So I better make sure I carry on not speaking. So you have to switch it. I've, I've made a belief. Why don't I change that to, I can talk to people. Other people do it. I have two ears and one mouth. That means I should listen more, talk less. But I can engage with people. If I can talk to my friends or my pet, or someone, I, I can talk to people. I'm, I'm making a different belief. And that different belief is making me, now I'm looking for confirmation bias of how, oh, I spoke to a guy in the store and they were engaging. I spoke to someone at a bus stop and they were engaging. And if I can speak to one person, I can speak to many. And I can learn, I can go on YouTube and just learn what makes a great speaker. And I can learn that, you know, I have a great brain that can learn stuff. And one of the reasons I called my book, Tell Yourself a Better Lie, is because in my experience, all of my clients' greatest pain was the lie they told themselves and the story they bought into. And I say, listen, if you're prepared to tell yourself a lie, which is, if I look at cake, I gain weight, everything I touch falls apart, no one in my family has ever done anything. I've got the depression gene. But here's how it works. You've got a belief. You've made it, it's making you, and you're looking for proof, so make a better belief. When people say, oh, I got a memory like a sieve, why not say I have an amazing memory? I can't sleep at night. Sleep comes to me. Changing the first bit, the thought, means that you change the feeling, means that you change the behavior. And people say, no, it's amazing. I just thought a different thought and everything changed on a dime. People say, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking of. How did I end up in this mess? Well, but you were thinking. You were thinking, I, I don't, I'm not going to succeed. Everything's not going to work out. If, if I start that business, it will fail. If I write the essay, it will get a bad mark. So I'm just going to procrastinate here and do nothing and then I can't fail. And when you take people back to that, you know procrastination 
And self-sabotage is nothing more than a reaction to a thought that I'm not enough. So many people are so scared of failing that they think, well, I'm not going to, I've written a book, but I'll never show it to anyone. I've got an idea, but what if it doesn't work? And when they begin to see, oh, it all tracks back to a thought which I'm free to change, it's very liberating, it's very empowering. This video is brought to you by Mind Valley. A better you every day. Access classes, live trainings, and coaching for every area of your life. Connect with students from around the world. Learn from the world's greatest teachers on personal transformation. Sample the full curriculum with free quest lessons. Get four new guided meditations daily. Connect with the community in free online events. A better education. Designed for you. Level up with Mind Valley. Try Mind Valley for free at go.mindvalley.com/motiversity.